All right, peace family. Welcome back to the Money School How To Series. So in this video, we're actually gonna be talking about how to use the Money School algorithm, okay? So first and foremost, we can see here um, that the algorithm has some things going on and it's telling us what to do. But what I wanna talk about first is literally how we can use the Money School algorithm on anything that TradingView pretty much offers, okay? So stocks, futures, forex, crypto, uh, indices, bonds are the primary things that we're going to use it on and options. And we're going to be using the stock tab to use it for options. And we're going to have a video specifically for that. But when we talk about how we're going to use the money school algorithm first, whether you only trade one of these asset classes or you trade all of these asset classes, the money school algorithm can be used as a tool to find high probability entry and exit places. OK, so that's the first step in how we can you we can decide on the asset class and uh, use it for that asset class. OK, the next part is understanding what's going on. OK, so in the candlestick calculation, because that's the first thing we're going to talk about is the actual candlesticks. The candlesticks for the money school algorithm are a different mathematical calculation from the traditional candlesticks. OK, so our candlesticks not only measures what's going on between the buyers and sellers in the candlesticks, but it also monitors volume and volatility. OK, and you'll learn more about that kind of in a resource guide and or if you are an actual money school student. OK, but volume moves the market and volatility is essentially the battling going on between the buyers and sellers. The more volume, the more volatility, the more opportunity there's actually for the market to move and for profits to be captured. OK, so you want volume and volatility in the market. And one way we can kind of see uh, the difference between a market that has a lot of volume and volatility versus one that doesn't. Let's look at a different instrument. So we're looking at Apple here. Maybe let's look at the Bank of America stock here. And we can look at their candlestick chart and see if they have some difference. So we can see here we have a hollow candlestick and we can see that the hollow candlesticks are different from the full candlesticks. And the difference in there is the volume and volatility. So although you may get a signal on a candlestick, if it's hollow, that means that it might not be enough volume and volatility for it to actually move or trend in the direction that may be suggested. OK, so that's the first thing to understand about the how of the candlesticks. The full candlesticks means that there's a higher probability for the market to trend in that direction. The hollow candlesticks, even if it's red or green, is still telling you, hey, yes, it might continue in that trend, but there's less volume and volatility in that particular time frame or whatever type of candlestick you have. So this candlestick is one day. So each one of these candlesticks equals one day. So the first thing to understand is the candlesticks. The candlesticks are different from traditional candlesticks because they actually calculate volume and volatility. OK, the second thing to understand on how to use the money school algorithm is that the money school algorithm is going to be used on any chart that you use. So if I'm looking at the one day chart and I want to switch down to the five minute chart, I can switch down to the five minute chart and don't panic if it looks a little squished like this. You can just right click, click on reset chart and it'll make it look normal. So now I can see that now the money school algorithm is literally you working on the five minute chart. And now it's working on a different instrument. At first we were on a, an Apple and now we're on Bank of America. So we can see that it can scan the market and find high probability entry points, no matter what asset class we use and what time frames we're using on trading view. OK, so we can see that it's going to scan the market and give us and say, hey, here is a high probability area where the market may go up. For, and it will generate a buy signal. Here is a high probability area that the market will go down. And since we're on a five minute candlestick here, we would wait for five minutes to see the next candlestick. So in this time frame, it's currently 256. 
and we can see that a candlestick was generated at 250. So now we would literally just sit here patiently and wait for the next five minute candlestick, which would come at 3 p.m. And if there was a sales signal, then we would enter into a sales side trade. So how do we use it? We wait for signals and then we will enter based off of the suggested entry price through a limit order or a market order. And then we can set our stop losses and our take profits accordingly based off of what the algorithm suggests. OK, so step two is understanding if it says buy, then we're looking for a buy side trade. If it says sell, then we're looking for a sell side trade. OK, the difference between the buy and sell signals versus the strong buy and the strong sell signals is just the amount of volume and volatility. If it's a strong sales, strong sell signal or a strong buy signal is actually even projected to be more volume and volatility included in the full candlestick. So uh, you're going to get a signal. If the candlestick is full, that's telling you it's a higher probability to trend in that direction. If it's full plus you get a strong signal, it's telling you that the probability is even higher. So you can rank them in levels of buy with a hollow candlestick one, buy with a full candlestick two, or buy with a full candlestick and a strong signal. OK, and vice versa for the sale. All of them are high probability. Each one just has levels of ranking. OK, so if you want to feel comfortable, you can say, hey, you know what? All of these are high probability signals, but maybe I only like to take the ones with full candlesticks or maybe I only like to take the strong buys the strong sales. That is a personal decision, but you can understand that all of them are high probability entry and exits, especially compared apples to apples to a normal candlestick chart where you're not going to get any information. You have to do all the work on your own. OK, so that is essentially how to use the money school algorithm with just looking at the candlesticks and the buy and sell signals. So that's number two. And then number three is understanding the money school algorithm cloud. So if you are seeing a buy signal and you are seeing a green candlestick, those are two separate calculations saying the same thing. And once we have two or more separate calculations telling us the same thing, it's called a confluence of events. So I have a buy signal here and the cloud is green. So now I can feel more confident as well to buy that candlestick. OK, if I see red and I see a sell signal, I can see that as a confluence of events and have even more confidence to sell that particular candlestick. So we can see here three o'clock just came. A new candlestick came in. It's already in the middle of a buy signal, but it's a smaller candlestick and it's hollow. So it's saying to us, hey, uh, yes, there's a possibility for it to continue to trend up, but the volume and volatility is less in this candlestick. So it may be meeting some resistance and it may be getting ready to turn around. OK, so just be able to see that as a real life example. And then lastly, if I were to see the cloud red, but I got a buy signal, then maybe I would stay out of that trade because the selling pressure would still be relatively higher and those are not agreeing. OK, so I can wait for where I can see a buy signal with the green or a sell signal with the red as a confluence. And that would be my third option to uh, decide whether I'm going to get in the trade. So as a recap, understanding how to use the money school algorithm, first and foremost, knowing that the candlestick has a different calculation than the traditional candlesticks, number one. So it's not even calculating the market the same. Number two, the buy and sell signals are high probability entry points that you can trade just off the signal with confidence. OK, next, if there is a buy signal with a hollow candlestick, yes, you can feel comfortable to still take that trade with a high probability of success. Just know that it may not actually trend in that direction because of the volume and volatility is not there. OK, 
And then third, if the cloud and the signal agrees with each other, that's a confluence. So you can have the signal as one, the full candlestick as two, and the cloud as three. So those are three separate mathematical indicators. And if they're all speaking the same language, that's where you can feel like, hey, that's the highest probability uh, trade opportunity for me. No matter which one you choose, each one is going to come whenever a signal is generated is going to give you a specific entry place, three different take profit areas and one specific place to set your stop loss and protect your money. OK, so three high value, high probability opportunities. And this is how you use the money school algorithm. And you can use this on any asset class provided in trading view. OK, so hopefully that helps. Take your time. Practice one step, one trade, one day at a time. All right. See you in the next video.